Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Friday Days of Writing. Let's screen share with you guys. So today is Friday, May 15th, 2020, and we are going to start writing our introduction for our second how to write writing piece. So yesterday you brainstormed. I like some of your ideas. Some of you are starting to get really creative with those how to stories. I can't wait to read what you guys write. So today we're gonna to be writing our introduction. So if you notice, I'm not playing the YouTube videos that we played last week um, because we already played them. So if you do wanna go back and look at those YouTube videos, you can just go back on Google Classroom from last week's lessons and you can rewatch them again. I'm just not gonna show you them on here because they're already on Google Classroom. So, um, it's kind of more like a review because you've already written a how-to story with me um, walking you through everything. So now this week, I kind of want to give you more of independence. I want you guys to try and do it more on your own um, rather than leaning on me so much. So I'm still going to go through the steps of writing mine, but I'm going to go much quicker. And if you need more information and more guidance, you should refer back to the videos from last week, or you can go on the YouTube videos if you um, forget something. But I'm still going to go over some things. So our learning target for today is I can write an introduction for a how-to piece. So we're starting our second how-to writing. Yesterday we brainstormed. Today we're just doing the introduction. We're still gonna be breaking each day into parts so that you guys aren't doing too much work in one day. So before we review, do we remember what to include in our introduction? Who remembers? Good. What else? Remember, there's three things. Three things. Okay, good. So let's review real quick. So what to include in a how-to writing introduction. We want to hook the reader, so we want to drag them in to read our story. We want to introduce the topic, so we want to tell the reader what they're going to be reading about and we want to list the materials needed. So remember, we're writing a how to do something story. So a how-to story, you need materials in order to do what you want them to do. So we need to make sure we include these three things. So I'm going to go back to my brainstorming page to show you from yesterday real quick. So I brainstormed four ideas, and I picked this one. How to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is the one I want to teach someone how to do. So now I'm going to show you how to write a good introduction for the topic that I picked. So you're gonna have a new Google document. So your Google document this week will look brand new. It will look just like the one from last week. It will just say how to writing two, because this is our second piece. So we'll just have how to writing two and it will be completely blank because there should be no work on it yet. So writing an introduction. I have my three pieces, one, two, Three. Remember, I want to write them all separate, and then at the end, I'll put them all together. So the first thing I want to do is I want to hook the reader. So I want to draw the reader in. Usually by hooking the reader, what do we do? Or what do we ask? I heard it. Someone said we ask a question. Asking a question is a great way to hook the reader because that's getting the reader to think about what they're going to be reading. So since I'm writing about how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I want to ask the reader, do you know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? That is my question. That's how I'm going to hook the reader. Because if they read that question, maybe they don't know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and they want to read my story to make one. So now I want to introduce the topic. So I'm going to tell them what they should expect to read in my story. So I want them to read this book to learn how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, good. Now I want to list my materials. So I want to tell the reader what they need in order to make this. So I need to think. So you will need, okay. I know you're going to need the P 
peanut butter. How can I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without the peanut butter? So remember, after each list, I do comma. So peanut butter, comma. You need jelly, comma. You need bread. I'm gonna be a little bit more specific. Two pieces of bread, because I don't wanna make a gigantic sandwich. I wanna make a regular sandwich. So I need peanut butter, I need jelly, I need a few pieces of bread, I need my knife, because how am I gonna spread it? I need a plate and a plate. So you will need peanut butter, jelly, two pieces of bread, knife, a knife, sounds a little better, a knife and a plate. Okay, so I hooked the reader by asking them a question. I introduced my topic. I told them what they're going to learn from reading my story and I included the materials. So now I need to write and put all pieces together. So remember I showed you this last week. I'm just going to highlight and copy and paste all of my parts together instead of rewriting. If you want to, you can rewrite each sentence if it's going to help you, or you can just do this copy and paste one sentence after each other, just like I'm doing. Okay, now I wanna reread it to make sure it makes sense. Do you know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Read this book to learn about, read this book to learn how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You will need peanut butter, jelly, two pieces of bread, a knife, and a plate. So that sounds good to me. I hook the reader, I introduce them to what they're going to be reading about, and I listed my materials. So now I stop. I reach the stop, I'm gonna stop for today. Now let's go back to our slides. Now you're gonna go onto your Google Classroom and you're gonna complete writing your introduction. So make sure you're only doing part two, which is the introduction. So I'll show you real quick on your Google Classroom. So Friday 515, that's today. The only thing that should be here is your um, document. Remember, there's no um, YouTube video. If you want to go back to the YouTube video, look how I'll show you. You can scroll up you can always go back to writing an introduction from last week and you can watch the video right there. So it's all in the same place. So now we're going to be writing a new one. So you click on that. It says two first because this is the second one. So that's how you know if you're in the same Google document. If you're on the same Google document from last week, it will be all filled out. If you're on the one from this week, it will say two and it will be blank. So you're only completing part two. So you're gonna do each part separate and then you're gonna put all your pieces together and then you're gonna stop at the end, just like we did before. Okay, let's go back to our learning target. I can write an introduction for a how-to writing piece. I'm gonna give myself a thumbs up because I did that. So you might have done that along with me as I was writing, um, but when you're all done with your assignment, what do you think? Do you think you can write an introduction for a how-to writing piece? I think all your thumbs should be up because a lot of you did that last week and I'm so proud of you. So all of these things are review. We're just doing it again because once you learn something, you just don't want to do it one time. You want to do it many, many times so that you get really good at it. So this is our second how to writing piece because we want to get really good at writing how to, how to writing pieces. All right, boys and girls, today is Friday. So you do have the whole weekend in case you don't get to it today, and that's okay as long as you have all of your work in before Monday, because on Monday we're gonna start moving into the steps, and you wanna make sure you have your topic and your introduction done before we go on to that. All right, boys and girls, have a great weekend. I can't wait to see you on Monday. Bye.